Welcome everyone for another video. While I stopped at my parents here, I also ordered replacement parts for the Revox B77 analog reel to reel that I showed to you in the earlier video. And in that video, I noticed this counter was broken and there was some timing belt that where the rubber disintegrated and it fell into multiple pieces already. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't make a photo video at the time. In the future, of course, I will. So I ordered some brand new spare parts from eBay. By the way, this is not a paid promotion. We ordered them ourselves, paid, uh, paid by our own money here. And they say these are newly manufactured parts, some 16 euros or so, something for shipping. Not too expensive. And um, as uh, what I usually do to compensate the shipping cost a little bit, I use, often order then one or two pieces more. For example, this NAB rubber rings for the NAB adapters, I would not normally need that urgently, but uh, I thought for three or four euros more, it's nice to have new ones as well as those brake springs. So I quickly wanted to install this and see how it goes. And you can also have a look into the machine then to see this nice vintage Revox mechanics there inside. So let's see how this goes today. So this uh, second belt is still there, but it's already already a little bit disintegrating. And this toothed belt is missing there. It's a very small one just behind the corner. And just checking how much I would need to disassemble there to get to this belt there also, or how much we need to unscrew. So to get the small belt, in there behind the counter we need to remove this long big belt and we have a new one anyway so while this one was still working it's not looking that nice anymore and I ordered a new one anyway so we will change this later if we can but to get in there we had to remove it and the small toothed belt goes in behind there and this normal belts you can often get away with just ordering something similar However, the reason I had to order really official Revox spare parts is this toothed belt, of course, are extremely hard to find. You cannot just order any other uh, slightly similar whatsoever, obviously extremely hard to find. So this is a matching part for this. And yeah, excuse the camera angle. In the future, I need to make sure to film better positions, but filming alone, it's not always easy to get the right angle there was the first shot and I did not want to get this belt out there again just to film from a slightly better position so sorry for that. So I did not watch any other disassemble video or Google service manuals or such so I just go with my intuition here. So we disassemble there this NAB spindle and behind it we find this brake mechanism with this brake drum and brake uh, spring. And it's also the first time I see this. Obviously, we have not disassembled this Revox Ritual ourselves before. So it's also my first look to this. I'm actually even surprised how it looks and how these mechanics are built up. And unfortunately, it looks like we need to disassemble even more because this belt is really not the most uh, fitting anymore. And, um, and also starting to disintegrate so we will want to change this and unfortunately we need to disassemble even more of this. So it actually was quite hard to get this off there. Um, you need to grab this brake drum really tight and obviously need to be careful not to destroy the anything. So this nut was very tight on there. Quite more effort than it looks on this video to get it off. And the next time I should probably do this with gloves. So it's probably not the 
very best idea to contaminate the everything, the metal mechanics and, and rubber and uh, belt um, with uh, the fat and, and water and such from the um, from the fingers. So the, normally you would probably want to do this with gloves in the future. So this is the brake mechanism, this brake band with the brake spring pressing against this brake fabric on this brake drum. And this machine is not braking so well anymore, so in the future we may have to service this as well. But it's apparently not available separately, so normally you would probably have ordered a whole brake or an AB brake drum. But um, yeah, need to think what to do with it. And these are the rubber belts there. And it's not as visible on the video. The 25 year old one really doesn't look so great anymore. So putting it back together in reverse order. It's a little bit fragile to get this rubber in there without damaging it on this metal brake band there. And yeah, again, probably best done with gloves. Obviously this new belt is looking and moving much better than the old one. While at it, as I already knew, this machine doesn't break very nicely. Dusting off a little bit this brake bend there. But um, yeah, not sure how much it will help, but as we are in there already, a little bit undusting can't hurt. Also the brake spring and as you've seen in my Apple hockey puck mouse repair always be very careful not that your spring flies away through the whole living room or wherever and you don't find it anymore for a week or two. And at least it's counting again so at least that mission accomplished. As you can see some nice good old mechanics that works there and as you unfortunately also could see even without the weight of this NAB reels it's not breaking very much so we also need to do something about this in the future. Okay, some of you know these amazing guys, of course, on drums. Matt Chamberlain. <laughs> to my right. And as you can see, it's nicely counting again. A not too difficult repair that you could theoretically do at home in case you want to service such older reel to reels. That is not good. What is this noise? Hmm. 
Hmm. Looks like this counter is a little bit loose somewhere. There's a mechanics, the gears or something vibra vibrating when they spin very fast. But okay, something we'll not tackle today. Something to repair next month or something like that. For now, we reinstall the front panel and call it a day. We have learned on this tour, he is not a member of the Phelps family. He plays guitar. He is Dan Phelps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 